Sam, what the heck? Why aren't you in the freaking car? Well, I'll tell you why. We have had quite the day. Now, nothing out of the ordinary of a regular kind of day if I can travel, but I think we, so me and my mom and my sister, left for the airport at 2, and it's now the equivalent of midnight. I mean, it's only 10, uh, 10 to 50, but we lost an hour coming all the way to fucking Vegas. But it was fun driving down the strip, fucking seeing everybody. There was a few hotel gyms where I could get a glimpse of some treadmills. But yeah, this is going to be a fun weekend. Honestly, this is a good little, uh, this is a good rebranding. I feel like Vegas is a little loss focused. But this weekend, I mean, considering the fucking Olympia and everybody that's going to be showing up here, dude. This is the weekend of gains. Or, well, for the 1%, I guess it's always the weekend of gains over here. But, headed to Torture Gym, which I've already finished the lift for. So not to spoil it, nasty fucking pump. But it's, you'll see in a couple of minutes. So we're gonna go head back to the, uh, head back to the Airbnb. Mark's coming tomorrow, a little bit later. So we, uh, we'll have a little, we'll have a couple little one-on-ones. Maybe not so, uh, maybe not so formal as the regular kind of tripod one-on-ones me and you have. But this will be fun. This is going to be a fun fucking weekend. And it's so, uh, it's something you don't fucking expect. But seeing everybody, seeing all these characters where you only see them on your fucking phone. And then you get to see them in real life in the fucking flesh. Oh, jeez. Especially if you're into fucking fitness. I mean, you may as well be a golfer and then Tiger Woods shows up at your range. I mean, it's just fucking nuts. So, how about we, uh, how about we cut back 45 minutes-ish once this chest day started? The, uh, the music's pretty loud in here. I'll see if I can, because I can kind of reduce it, but I can't get all the music, like, completely AI reversed without it fucking with me a little bit, like, the way that the audio kind of sounds. I'm working on it. But, crazy chest day. Let's cut to some, uh, let's cut to something. Either morning cardio or the post-workout meal today. I guess that'll be you to find out after you see what kind of crazy shit just went down. Come on, work it, work it. Perfect. Oh. Thank you. Oh. For those unaware, unexpected spot cameo from Milo Sarsev. Holy shit, perfect. A few more. Three plates to 25, a little too much. Let's drop the three. Good set, though. Yeah. 
Yeah. Might have to trim some of this, some of these sets down from the music, but let's move on. Make today a three-parter, I think. So heavy incline pressing, lighter squeezing, more just full on pec, like flat squeezing work like this. And I'm gonna finish with a very fancy pec machine over there. The only problem is it's not heavy enough. So it's like, you know, I can't do it next, but if I pre-exhaust with a few sets here, then it'll feel just right. And the squeeze over there is fucking insane. So let's just get amped up and really go for a burning sensation here. That's a fortunate sound. That's not enough. That's not enough. That might be too heavy. One more, slightly lighter. Those were kind of pump focused. These last sets, or maybe just last set, will be very squeeze, diabolical burning. Then we can pose down. And this chest day, 40 minutes, excluding the warm up, which for one muscle, I think that's about right. Take a regular pec deck, flip it upside down on its ass, and then reassemble it. And I know that sounds like a silly description, but this is a really cool machine. The way that I like doing my finishers, where I just stand up almost totally upright, and then just do cable flies here, really squeezing flex focus at the bottom. This takes that and gives it the constant strength curve of a regular pec deck. You know, with something like a cable fly, I feel a crazy squeeze here, because the cable is pulling my hands apart. But as I get higher and higher up, it's just pulling my arms apart from my shoulders. My pecs aren't being activated. But the fact that I'm constantly rotating, I'm feeling the same force the whole way around. So just a different, more consistent strength curve, which really adds to it. So these first five reps will basically, I mean, honestly kind of feel like butter, but the overall damage and kind of fatigue on the crew every time I sit here and oh, will hit me pretty hard, probably around the maybe 15 rep mark. Well, we'll just have to see. But if this is good, this will be it. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Let me lean against something for some fucking squeezing push ups.
See you, bro. Enjoy your time here, man. Okay. Let's go play with Dad. There we go. Let's get this freak factor a touch more. Oh, yeah. There we go. Simple ass chest day. I mean, nothing magic. That's just uh, those three apart from the uh, like that machine at the end was really cool. That's a little new. That is definitely different than what I'm normally used to. But it's still just the same as the uh, or very similar to the regular just decline cable flies that I've been doing. But that one, I can really take balance out of the equation because the handles don't move. I mean, they move in their set rotation, but I'm not going to fall back or forth. All I have to do is go. <sighs> like I'm doing a fucking most muscular. But let's, uh, let's get a little centered. I've got a little taped out square for my feet. So this must be the, this must be the fancy spot. So let's see how chest is looking. Day three. So honestly, there's probably no measurable fat loss only three days into this deficit. Really, it's just um, muscular fullness loss. But the nice thing about coming in with some crazy fancy lighting and an insane chest pump after a solid lift is that kind of gets counteracted a little bit. So let me, uh, let me actually raise you up to eye level. Yeah, that looks about a little more natural. So this, just sitting here like this, this is a pose that I'm very excited to see myself doing really lean. And especially after a chest day, because really a chest pump is fucking cheating. A chest pump is obviously a chest pump. Biceps get worked a little, tries get worked in the pressing, shoulders get worked for stability. So to sit here and do a fucking most muscular after a chest day, you may as well have a full fucking body pump. So... It's uh, a little bit bigger than life has, so to say. Oh my goodness. And then while I'm here, the nice thing about having this mirror up there, which you can't really see me in, is I can see my own back exactly how it really looks. So it's a good little gauge for me to notice if I'm doing any of this or this. No back pump, but let's still run through a couple. Because I don't normally have this kind of lighting at my disposal. So this is where getting some deep tissue work, I think, is really going to benefit me. Because I'm sure all my lats and everything else in here is so tense and kind of tight that it takes away from my ability to really open up my lats in a fucking lat spread. So that's something I've been putting off. I know a guy at one of my gyms where he runs his own kind of physio thing like that. I'm talking like the spatula deep gnawing kind of work. The only reason I'm not doing it is probably because I know it's going to fucking hurt me. But let's get one more most muscular, just a real nasty one. And then we can scram. And that will get slightly freakier once I get a haircut too. The hair kind of makes my whole head look bigger and it, I feel like it almost shrinks my fucking frame. But let's get out of here. Actually, I'm gonna talk to you in the past. Because we didn't do a car talk because we were in a fucking rush. And this place closes in like probably a few minutes, I think. Straight out of the fucking Victoria era with this fancy pants kind of dinner table. But we're basically all sorted. A couple of chores today. Well, I wouldn't call it chores, but there's a little schedule today. But that'll be more so in tomorrow's little clip. But breakfast of champions for this, what is today, day three or four? I guess technically it's a day ahead because now this is the morning time. Whatever. But a Subway sandwich, double turkey, 
and then some kind of just random regular sort of protein drink. I really gotta make a grocery trip, go get some actual ground beef, steaks, eggs, that sort of thing. But I wouldn't freak. I mean, this is a very contentious topic. I mean, you've got pretty big characters saying you should never drink protein powder. The the nitrogen balance is totally off. It's like total bullshit. I'm not so concerned, right? I mean, I would never catch, I mean, you'd never catch me purely drink a protein drink for like an 80, you know, 70% or more of my daily kind of intake. But if for whatever day, one day you're strapped, you know, you're traveling, whatever else, you sit in the airport terminal, dude, grab two fucking, you know, 26 gram things of little chocolate or strawberry protein. It's going to add up. Right? It's not something I'd want to miss out on. Honestly, the protein is kind of, I'd almost group it in with like your vitamins and taking all your electrolytes and stuff. Because in a bodybuilding context, apart from just feeling good, like strong, recovered, whatever, it's nothing crazy, right? The carbs are actually cool because you get a f direct like energy boost. You actually are going to look more, you know, full and fucking vascular <clears throat> if you're kind of in a deficit and then you suddenly have a little bit of a refeed day. Carbs don't get enough fucking love, man. But in the same sense, I feel like that's uh, that's kind of a bad thing, too, because then anybody who's dieting down doesn't really understand the power of the carb. But either way, chest yesterday, that was a good lift. I um, We kind of got there late. I mean, they closed at 11. We got there like 10-ish. There's a ton of crazy new stuff in there. I'm talking like incline press, all sorts of converging, whatever else. But kind of had to keep it simple since we were already late. But rest of the uh, rest of the crew, little Mark and Mark Senior, are gonna be here later. Probably go, uh, probably go follow them, do some golfing. And yeah, that's pretty much fucking it. So I'm gonna finish this. I've got cardio, and then I'll really just see you tomorrow. A little bit of a short one today, but they'll we'll get some more, a little extra something over the next few.